Hello again, everyone. Yat, bienvenidos, and mabuhay. Before I talk about some New Mexico Public Education Department and legislature updates, I have a few things to share with you real quick before I give that update. We're currently holding stakeholder meetings in all three of our regions. We've already completed the first meeting in Newcomb, which was attended by community members, parents, and even council delegate Amber Crotty. We value your input and would love to hear from you. The next meeting is scheduled for Monday, December 11th in the Shiprock Boardroom, followed by the last stakeholder meeting on December 18th in the Bon Wilson Banquet Hall in Kirtland. Both meetings will begin at 5 p.m. In addition, there will be a combined work session and regular school board meeting on December 11th, that's next Monday, at 4.30 p.m. in the Randy J. Manning Building in Kirtland. With the holidays around the corner, the board has decided to combine the two meetings. As always, staff and com community members are encouraged and welcome to attend. I also want to touch base with everyone about our inclement weather procedures. On our transportation website, ccsdnm.org, we have provided a packet with information for parents regarding the timeline for decision-making related to school closures, two-hour delays, after-school events, and sports activities. Bad weather stops are also added in our packet, and it's helpful for parents to know where their buses will be located when rain, snow, and mud can affect the bus's travel through serviced roads. We'll be sending packets home for parents to have when we finalize the revision document. I'd like to take a moment to address an important topic that's currently circulating within the New Mexico public education realm. The New Mexico Public Education Department has recently proposed that schools move towards a 100 or more day calendar with Fridays included, as opposed to our current 1,140 hour calendar, which is 178 days of student learning. The primary motivation behind this proposed change is to improve the low ELA and math numbers that the PED has been seeing in its schools. By providing additional days for instruction, the department believes that we'll be better equipped to support our students to help them succeed. However, there is also a great deal of concern around this proposal. Many feel that it restricts the powers of school boards to implement a calendar that best suits the needs of their district. Additionally, many schools in New Mexico are currently following a four-day calendar and some of these school districts are not in favor of this new revision to the legislature as some districts have seen great academic progress come from their four-day calendar. It's important to note that the legislature is likely to oppose this revision since it goes against New Mexico statutes for the board to decide on a four or five-day calendar. The statutes support that the district has the ability to dictate how we use the 1140 hours of academic instruction which has led to the current 178-day calendar. You might be thinking, just adding two more days to fit the 180-day criteria isn't that bad. Well, we do support our kids, and we'd love for them to spend more time in our schools. However, we think adding more days will drain them due to the additional hours, and we'd like for them to enjoy their summer time off longer. This also goes for our teachers. We don't want to keep them working such longer days. Because this 180-day calendar that the Public Education Department wants for our schools doesn't include professional development for teachers. We will continue to monitor the situation closely and keep you informed of any updates as they become available. As always, our top priority remains providing the best possible education for our students. That's all I have for today. See you all next time. Hagone. Adios. Paalam.